Okay, so the previous video was about the acute kidney injury, about the definition of acute kidney injury, the pathophysiology, the categories of acute kidney injury or the causes of acute kidney injury. I told you I'm going to stages of acute kidney injury or the rifle criteria. Actually, the uh, physicians uh, uh, had put, put what we call rifle criteria to classify the acute kidney injury into stages okay the risk stage of acute kidney injury when we have a risk to have acute kidney injury the injury state when we have a, a, an injury now okay failure stage of acute kidney injury or loss stage progression of failure to loss and the end stage renal failure as the end of the story of the acute kidney injury so let's start with these with this criteria and actually this criteria depends on two important things the creatinine and the urine output actually we have a lot of rifle criteria we have 2002 criteria 2004 some criteria are for adult but the latest one for the pediatrics is the pediatric modified rifle criteria okay and the R stands for the risk of having acute kidney injury the i stands for the injury of the kidney the f for the failure of the kidney the l the loss of the kidney the e the end stage so please remember the r the n the f the l the a the rifle criteria okay rifle criteria so again we have uh, this is the afferent arterial this is the glomerulus and the efferent arterial we have the uh, glomerulus okay so this is the glomerulus and after that we will have the proximal tubule the loop finley the tube uh, the distal tubule and the collecting tubules okay and this is the toilet okay so the function of the blood is to go to the kidney okay it will be fil infiltrated here 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 will filtrate some uh, materials uh, like for example the creatinine okay the creatinine will go with the tubules okay and all of it will be in the toilet after that so if we have an acute kidney injury due to any cause the glomerular filtration rate glomerular filtration rate will decrease and the decreasing glomerular filtration rate will decrease in creatinine uh, filtration or uh, creatinine filtration to the uh, tubules and that will lead to accumulation of creatinine in the blood okay so if we have increase or decrease in estimated creatinine clearance of about 25 percent then we have a risk for acute kidney injury so if the, the uh, creatinine clearance from the body decreased by 25 percent so we will start with the first thing the risk for acute kidney injury okay so this is the first thing the second thing that uh, the function of the uh, blood is to get rid of urine okay by the urine output if we have decrease in glomerular filtration rate also we have decrease in urine urine output okay and the decrease in urine output if it is less than 0, uh, 0 0.5 mil per kg per hour for about eight hours for about eight hours then we have a risk for acute kidney injury the first thing in rifle criteria so in rifle criteria the risk goes for about 25 percent decrease in estimated creatinine clearance okay 25 percent plus about less than 0, 0.5 mil per kg per hour for how much for eight hours actually the previous criteria tells that in about six hours like in the definition i told you about in the previous video okay but in this latest criteria we, we should have about decrease uh, the urine output should be less than 0.5 mil per kg per hour so you take the urine 
an hour if it is less than 0.5 mil per kg for about eight hours okay and you have decrease in about 25 percent in creatinine okay uh, then we have uh, the risk of acute kidney injury the first thing in graphic criteria okay this is for the risk what about the injury if we have decrease in creatinine estimated creatinine a clearance of about 50 percent this time 50 percent okay and decrease in urine output to be less than 0.5 again mil per kg per hour now uh, this time for 16 hours 16 hours then we have injury the second thing in right so the first thing we have 25 percent 20 okay plus uh, uh, less than 0.5 mil per kg per hour in eight hours in second one we have 50 percent and uh, less than uh, 0.5 mil per kg per hour in 16 hours okay the third stage which is the failure okay we have now but what creatinine about 75 75 percent decrease in estimated creatinine a clearance okay and what about the urine output it will decrease of about now less than 0.3 so remember in the first two things the risk and the injury is less than 0.45 okay and the time change the first in the risk we have eight hours in the injury we have 16 hours in the failure we have less than what less than 0.3 0.3 okay in what hour hours for about 24 hours okay or if we have no urine output at all for 12 hours then you can say oh this is a failure this is a failure okay if we have less than 12 hours of urine no less than uh, i'm sorry if we have no urine at all for 12 hours or less than 0.3 ml per kg per hour for 24 hours then you can call it a failure okay of course with about 75 percent decrease in estimated creatinine clearance okay so these are the first three important things the risk the injury the failure rifle risk injury failure then we go for the ill the loss okay in the loss we have a persistent failure for about more than four weeks if we have loss of function of kidney for more than four weeks then it is loss okay the end stage renal failure is defined by end stage renal disease persistent failure of the kidney for about three months okay so if we have a persistent failure for more than four weeks we call it loss of kidney function but if this lasts for more than three months then this is in the stage renal failure and this is the definition of the in the stage renal failure so right free criteria pediatric modified one is very important i'm not maybe uh, seen as hard to remember okay but it's very important to remember now let's move to the approach to acute kidney injury we will start with the history physical examination and after that the investigations not going to add anything history physical examination investigation will base on the things i told you about okay now you have to uh, first ask about the presentation history okay we, do we have hepato encephalopathy do we have convulsions of course we may have convulsions acute kidney injury because we may have hypertension as a complication of acute kidney injury of course hypertension because the kidney uh, function is to get rid of urine okay and now we have accumulation of fluid and urine and that may lead to hypertension and also the accumulation of fluid you have to uh, look for the pulmonary edema does the patient has anything with the breathing okay or hypertension 
very important things to remember okay please ask about them now we have to ask about the possible causes of acute kidney injury i told you we have a prenal renal and post renal causes prenal causes i told you we have uh, a decrease in the volume depletion volume this may be due to vasodilation okay so you ask about fever sepsis sepsis may lead to vasodilation okay you ask about diarrhea volume depletion may be due to gi losses i told you diarrhea vomiting due to skin losses for example you ask about burning okay anything that may be associated with uh, decreased volume like cardiac output a congestive heart failure any cardiac problem okay now the renal causes of acute kidney injury we have the glomerulus causes and vascular causes and the tubular causes the glomerular causes i told you it may be due to a previous infection pharyngitis or previous upper respiratory tract infection post streptococcus glomerulonephritis may lead to acute kidney injury or a skin infection for example so please very important to ask about a previous viral infection for about two weeks prior to the acute kidney injury or more okay the vascular causes we may have henoxian line purpura vasculitis henoxian line purpura I'm sorry, injection like papilla. You will have skin rash, erythropathy, vasculitis. Okay, please think about that because the vasculitis, injection like papilla is associated with kidney insult, of course. You ask about the post renal causes, posterior urethral valve. I told you the very important thing to ask about is what the urinary stream, urinary stream. Okay, you ask about the urinary symptoms, the urine stream okay the family history of renal anomalies you may have an anomaly in the ureter or in the uh, bladder or the urethra for example that led to an obstruction okay so ask please about the family history of renal abnormalities very very important to ask about this okay antenatal history why is it important to ask about antenatal history because to ask about uh, uh, the mother may have taken uh, has taken uh, okay the mother may have taken uh, some drug uh, uh, that's uh, is cytotoxic to the child kidney so ask about the antenatal history if there is an ultrasound that indicates the presence of any anomaly may be associated with renal anomaly and uh, kidney injury now this is about the history please remember the presentation ask about the presentation and the causes one by one I did not add anything the physical examination vital signs of course the most important thing to ask in vital signs the blood pressure blood pressure is the very important complication of the acute kidney injury that may lead to convulsion to cns abnormalities okay a state of hydration because we may have dehydration due to acute kidney injury and we may have we may have over hydration both of them may happen with acute kidney injury state of hydration ask about the sunken eyes about the decreased urine output about the lethargy okay physical examination I'm sorry uh, if there is any cyanosis uh, uh, look at the mucous membrane is are they dry and so on okay skin tiger and that's all uh, edema okay ask about edema if you have overload or overhydration a fluid okay over or under load i told you we may have overhydration or under hydration so ask about respiratory rate because accumulation of fluid uh, i'm sorry in physical examination you ha you should do respiratory examination very important because uh, if we have uh, uh, accumulation of fluid we will have uh, pulmonary edema in some cases okay in the in the next video i'm going to talk about the investigations how to distinguish between pre-renal and renal causes of acute kidney injury and i will end up with the management of acute kidney injury thank you very much see you in the next video